your help. I am so pleased to be here at the beginning of the Orange Walk, but walking is not all that we can do. We must use our voices and we must use our votes. We must elect elected officials that will move forward with us, that will introduce legislation, that will help Oregon become a safe and beloved community. Are you willing to hold your elected officials accountable? Are you willing to have your votes be heard? Are you willing to use your voices to stand up for common sense gun safety legislation? be a leader, I will work with your legislature, and I will sign the bills that come to my desk. But we need your support. I look forward to working with you. And now I'm so pleased to turn it over to Portland's mayor, Charlie Hales. Let's Harris and Molly and San Bernardino, and on the streets of Portland, we've had 173 gang violence shootings in our city this year, 173, a terrible new record year. We've had 67 people injured and 13 people killed just in gang violence. And as your mayor, the one of the hardest things any mayor has to do is visit the bedside of a wounded police officer. And I've done that more often than I'd like to admit. And I visited the bedside of LeBray Franklin, a young intern in my office who was shot outside of his high school a few blocks from here. That's so fundamentally wrong that three school kids were shot outside of their high school. We must do better than this. So these are dark days. And every time one of those things happens, this thing goes off on my bed set stand. And there are two gentlemen here that are seeking this office. And I hope and pray, Jules and Ted, that you'll have a lot quieter nights because that's the way Portland should be. But these are also, again, to Jenny Burdick and the other leaders in the state legislature in Oregon who had the courage to do something. Let's hear it. What yeah. I'd like to say is great turnout. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'd also like to thank everyone who's traveled great distances to be here today, and all the local folks for taking your time to come out. Uh, we're here today because the tide is turning. Three years ago, the victories we are seeing today would never have been possible. And that is because of all of you and the work you are doing every day to demand change from our elected officials at all levels of government, to end gun, gun violence in our schools, on our college campuses, in malls, and movie theaters, on live television. Again, thank you all for being here on this um, Oregon day. <laughs> you show the spirit of not just Portlanders, but Oregonians. We show up, don't we? Yeah! Woo! There you go. Um, I want to first acknowledge and send condolences out to the Roseburg community and remind them they are not forgotten. I see you. I see you, Anthony. You are not forgotten. I see my community and the losses that have occurred here. You are not forgotten. You are loved, you are cared for. And we need to demonstrate that. Enough is Enough PDX, established in the summer of 2014, was birthed by the community to give